हमने कहीं से तो पता किया कि धारावी में सब कुछ बनता है राइट सो वाई डोंट यू बोर्ड टू धारावी एंड टेक अ शॉर्ट कॉलेज कैंटीन में इडली का क्या प्राइस होना चाहिए इसका ये कितने में बनता है कितने में बिकेगा ऑल ऑफ दैट वी वर डूइंग एंड आई फाउंड दैट वेरी फैसिनेटिंग एंड देन फेल्ट की मे बी स्टार्टअप दुनिया में जाना है वॉट इज डी टू जी एक्सप्लेन करो मुझे लगा ये वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस कैसे होगा राइट एंड मीज फोक लॉर्ड ऑफ कपल फाउंडर्स फाउंडर्स ऑफ शुगर कॉस्मेटिक्स विनीता एंड कॉशन हम उनके फैंस हैं हमेशा क्योंकि इंडिया में इफ इट वॉज जस्ट प्राइस सेंसिटिव तो टाटा नैनो वुड बी द मोस्ट सेलिंग दशा आज से एक ही बैग सेंड करना है इट्स वन बैग डे वी डू बिलीव स्ट्रॉगली दैट प्राइसिंग इज मेक और मोस्ट ऑफ द ब्रांड्स ना सिर्फ वेस्टर्न कॉपीज लेके आते हैं इंडिया में उनके बैग्स भी बहुत सिमिलर लुकिंग होते हैं Over the past two years, we have hosted many founders, co-founders who were friends, siblings, colleagues, or even in-laws. But we never got a chance to host a husband-wife duo. But the wait is finally over. Today, we have founders of Zook, Pradeep and Disha. Welcome to the show, Pradeep and Disha. Thank you, thank for you, Siddharth. And also, it's a very uh, uh, new thing, also because we are hosting this show after our rebranding to a Curious Club plot podcast. So, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you, and congratulations, Sandeep. Thank you so much. So let's start with Disha. Uh, Disha, you completed your graduation from IIM Ahmedabad, then worked for some months in a startup, and then took a leap to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. Tell us and take us through that journey. Sure. So Sadan, I think uh, I'll start from the beginning that how the whole idea came in. Right? So, um, so we we both were batchmen from IIM Ahmedabad, uh, and uh, you know Gujarat being the cultural capital of India, uh, one of the in the second year of our MBA for one of the Uh, courses we go to a nearby place from Ahmedabad mm-hmm. and uh, we went to a very small village and there uh, along with our course material we also met a lot of artisans there and we saw their work uh, and they were beautiful to look at we looked at very beautiful looking bags the craftsmanship was very good right but what happened at the end of the day was um, i saw none of my friends bought anything and i was very curious you know uh that why they didn't buy anything okay to us time maine pucha un sabse ki yaar kyun nahi khareeda right and for them the biggest thing was ki yaar isko use kahan karenge so they were like ye dikhte acche hain right uh but bahut hi bright hai in color to main office nahi carry kar sakti post my uh, graduation ye utility wise is not good because isme laptop compartment nahi hai it's not functional enough yeah. for me to carry to an office and that is when i started thinking ki uh, if mai koi aisa product leke aati hu in the market which is india inspired so has that indian essence because india culturally and craft wise is very rich right but if we modernize that particular craft form in the products which is used by today's india and people like you and me right there is a market that we can build right. so that is how the whole seed came up right um uh, in fact second year of mba you know i told pradeep and my family as well ki yaar main job nahi karne wala hu main chhod raha hu sab kuch and uh, i'll start uh, my business and you know belong like i we both belong to service background koi business background nahi hai so my family was very woke okay. ki yaar at least i am karne ke baad kuch to thoda job kar lo tum kya baat bechega right <laughs> so they were very hesitant in that sense so i thought ki ticket chalo le if not my own startup why don't i work for a startup learn few skills there and then maybe probably you know when the time is right i will start and i joined one of the startup post mba but you know wo 9 10 months you know i learned a lot but you know my heart was still um uh, towards starting up and uh, you know i think 10 months i think after 10 months or 11 months i i quit my uh, job and you know shifted to bombay and uh, uh, you know we started our initial struggle of you know uh, given as a designer mere mind mein bahut hi clear tha ki mujhe kya chahiye hai mm. right? i was looking at a product which is india inspired yet modern i also researched uh, around ki us time pe what are the other brands are doing right mm. and what we you know figured out that time and abhi bhi kafi true hai right ki most of the brands na sir western copies western leke aate hain india mein uh, unke bags bhi bahut similar looking hote hain mm. to i tell to almost everybody ki agar aap unke tags nikal doge aur baju baju mein rakh doge na to aap bata bhi nahi paoge kaun sa kiska brand ka hai right mm. so we had a very clear idea ki hame ek product banana hai jo bahut hi india inspired distinct identity hai with the modern use case so but it was very clear in my mind right yeah. how to get it across to the people who are going to make it because i was not right 
that was the initial struggle that we faced right what happened was ki um, i think ev- so i used to stay in goregaon and hame uh, given we don't belong to any production bank no, right humne kahin se to pata kiya ki dharavi mein sab kuch banta hai right so why don't you go to dharavi and take a shot ki yaar kuch ho gaya to right so i re- I-, i remember ki main go- uh, goregaon se har subah nikalti thi i used to go to dharavi i used to go to every karkhana like as much as possible and tell them ki yaar main kuch aisa soch rahi hu ki you know fabric ka hoga Uh, also one more new thing that i was asking them to do was use vegan leather rather than using an animal based leather which was a very different concept for them right and uh, given you know from a very beginning we were very sure that this is something that we want to do for our whole life and we wanted to not put like uh, animals like we wanted to put our names to something which 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 has that kind of you know kindness and and like you know non we felt related. fine working day on day on that yes so that is when you know uh, uh, the vegan leather and fabric combination is something which they were like they had never done before right like um so it was very difficult in the beginning mm-hmm. right har subah jao darwaza khatkhatao and they were like pata nahi ye you know कौन आ गया नहीं सर तब भी उसको चाहिए कुछ रेड एंड यंग पर्सन पता नहीं बिजनेस देगी भी कि नहीं देगी सो नो बडी यूज टू टेक मी सीरियसली आई थिंक ये पूरी कहानी पूरा एक महीना चला है राइट एंड देन फाइनली आई गॉट वन पर्सन हु अग्रीड क्या चलो लेट मी दया था कि लेट मी मेक समथिंग फॉर हर एंड दैट इज सो दैट इज वेन वी क्रिएटेड आर फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट सो फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट वॉज आर लैपटॉप बैग तो अगर अभी आप हमारी वेबसाइट में देखेंगे तो वी हैव दैट लैपटॉप बैग काफी ग्रेजुएट किया है फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट टाइप वी हैव मेड है uh but that was our first uh, laptop bag we made after make the bag we were like ke wapas do route the ek to given we are from mba background we could have run survey shown pictures and said kya tum khareedoge ki nahi khareedoge kitne mein khareedoge and all that and the second route was ke actually selling this product and we felt more ke we should act, like if somebody is ready to pay for the product that you have created then there is a market okay. so what what we did was so mere ek friend um thi abhi bhi she is very close friend ke so she she was selling on little flea one of the up market yeah. in uh, mumbai and uska wo footwear bech rahi thi and she 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 had a stall there and i requested kya thodi si space de de us uh, stall mein so she agreed and she gave us fun some space there and i think i remember wo teen din ka exhibition tha usme bhi hum ek din late the क्योंकि हमारा प्रोडक्शन नहीं आया था बट वॉट हैपन ना कि जब हम वो सौ बैग लेके गए वहाँ पे एंड आफ्टर टू डेज वी वेर कम्प्लीटली सोल्ड आउट एंड द फीडबैक दैट वी गॉट फ्रॉम द पीपल देवल है कि यार कुछ तो नया है डिस्टिंग है मेरे लिए है फंक्शन इनफैक्ट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑफिस गोइंग वुमेन वेल है कि यार दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर आई नहीं तो मैं क्या करती हूँ मैं एक बैक पैक कैरी करती हूँ मैं एक टिफिन बैग कैरी करती हूँ मैं एक और हैंड बैग कैरी करती हूँ यू आर गिविंग मी अ बैग विच कैन फिट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स plus my laptop yeah. and looks fem- like look, look something that i should be carrying right? rather than something picked up from a men's rack yeah. so these are the so what, then like that gave us some confidence ke acha theek hai the concept that we are thinking has some resonance in the market so from there uh, i think the first one and a half year was all about us uh, perfecting our product by doing a lot of exhibition yeah. so uh, we did i think more than 50 plus 50 exhibition big. across india दिस रियली हेल्प दस अंडरस्टैंड कि यार हमारी जनता को क्या पसंद है वट प्राइस पॉइंट दे लाइक उनको क्या फंक्शनैलिटी चाहिए राइट एंड दैट इज हाउ वी वी स्टार्टेड एंड आई थिंक वही से जर्नी स्टार्ट हुई मतलब वहीं से हाँ दैट्स हाउ योर जर्नी बट प्रदीप योर जर्नी वॉज लिटल डिफरेंट आफ्टर यू ग्रेजुएटेड यू यू वर्क अंडर डिफरेंट स्टार्टअप एंड इवन वेंचर कैपिटल फर्म एंड देन जॉइंड जू टेल इज अबाउट टेस्ट टू थ्रू योर जर्नी वैसे yeah so i think uh, when uh, when i decided to sort of do an mba that was after uh, a considerable stint in an investment bank all right and i said ki yaar banking nahi karna hai life mein kuch aur karna hai right and that's where mba happened uh then I actually did my summers with mckinsey and company so mm-hmm. management consulting firm and then got a pre placement offer from them and thought ki yeah. consulting karenge but as good luck would have it uh had time between graduating and joining and that's when i joined a very early stage uh, bus startup and uh, actually usse pehle i i worked with a very close friend and he was setting up a canteen business in 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 tamil nadu right that was a 20 day thing that i did with him and i said laga yaar ye to bahut hi interesting hai hum baith ke college canteen mein idli ka kya price hona chahiye iska ये कितने पे बनता है कितने पे बिकेगा ऑल ऑफ दैट वी वर डूइंग एंड आई फाउंड दैट वेरी फैसिनेटिंग एंड देन फेल्ट की मे बी स्टार्टअप दुनिया जाना है एंड दैट्स यू नो जॉइन द बस कंपनी एंड देन यू नो वर्क टू देम फॉर अ ईयर एंड अ हाफ फेस सो मल्टीपल प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वेर सॉल्व टुगेदर एक्सेट्रा देन जस्ट इन टू द वी सी फर्म एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वर्क टू द सैस यूनिकॉन एंड बिल्ड द डिमांड जनरेशन फंक्शन 
so these were all sort of very different experiences but felt very comfortable in a uh, very early stage zero to one sort of journey after being in a company which was an ocean of you know people and fairly large business right uh, and tabhi laga ki nahi ye startup ki duniya bahut interesting hai uh, even during that time you know over weekends uh, um, you know i would visit uh, you know the the events that they were doing at zoo can said yaar ye to bahut interesting hai customers love this product they yeah. love what we are doing uh and felt that now is the right time to really double down on that opportunity hmm. uh ki saath mein karte hain bolche right and there were uh, very clear sort of uh, skill sets that disha had clear skill set i had and clear things on what i was not good at what disha was uh, good at etc to so felt like a natural sort of uh, working together uh usme bhi as couple founders hume laga ye work life balance kaise hoga right and we spoke to a lot of couple founders in that sense and you know two three of them have been very close mentors for us in our journey uh, and they really helped us uh, you know uh, understand ki ye yes i had these are the benefits these are the pros cons etc uh, and now if if couple founders reach out to us saying karna chahiye ki nahi karna chahiye we have a you know fairly good uh, answer for that right uh, to uske basis mein then said ki hey let's let's uh, double down on this opportunity and and that's how sort of the formal zoom journey uh, started but been always been helping sort of the business from the side so yeah. uh to saying you know now let's take a more mainstream role right yeah. and then as i like to say uh, i joined zuka when there were more greener pastures right a lot more <laughs> things around early 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 product market fit was there yeah. etc and and uh, this was gracious enough to sort of say aa jao chalo tum tumhare sath build karte hain right so i think that's how for that journey yeah. happened got it and so disha where does uh, where does the name zook come from tell us that story i think aapne wrong insaan se pucha hai oh. ye humko pradeep se puchna thi because pradeep has taken the credit for the naming so many times i think okay. finally i should say yeah sorry please go ahead so 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 we have this on camera now so yeah. i am glad right <laughs> uh no so actually the the name uh, comes from two parts one is um you know uh, from the gold zook of of dubai dubai right? yeah. uh and that's where you know it's a very middle eastern uh word for bazaar and we said uh, that seems very interesting we still felt we brand ka naam z se start ho for some reason right? i i really can't put a science to it it was just a feeling so that the shah had that you know classy right and the starting z ha so the z of zoo credit goes to the shah on that right so i'll give that to her Thank right you. uh and and then you know we said something short and sweet is what we wanted and uh, zoo is also a very vibrant dance form hmm. and we said ki hum jo bhi categories mein operate karenge be it in bags be it in wallets be it in footwear be it in scarves etc kuch vibrant product leke aayenge hmm. with the ethos of the brand so we felt that was uh, you know a very apt name right mm-hmm. uh and that's how sort of zook happened so zook happened by culmination of all of these things uh and yeah now we have uh, we have the brand name from there nice. got it so pradeep uh, lot of uh, i've spoken to lot of founders sab bolte hain d2c d2c uh, what is d2c explain karo mai mm-hmm. in a in a simple manner yeah so i think uh, first a side story on d2c and us yeah. right i think uh Uh, pre covid times uh, we spoke to few people and said hum d2c brand hai we said it d2c you mean b2c right ye yeah. mm. d2c aap shayad galat bol rahe ho right and they would hesitate to say and then say yeah. actually na pati ye b2c hota hai d2c aap kuch galat pad ke aaye ho uh-huh. right then we read the dnvb right mm. that was even more confusing itna lamba right but uh, i think post covid d2c has become a buzz word right somewhere in the middle it was a w- great way to raise funds like Correct. ai and ml <laughs> right but now i think it's all sort of become more rational right but uh, so the, i mean d2c at least the way we look at it is for what it stands is direct to consumer mm-hmm. right or uh, and uh, it's a distribution channel uh, but beyond that it's also a way of building a consumer brand right so today uh d2c in our minds is twofold right one is d2c online which is sort of selling through our own website which is zoom.co.in right where we have a direct relationship between us and the customer right mm. and we know a lot of details about the customer the customer is very happy to purchase and has a trust for our platform mm. right and the second part of d2c as, as at least we'll like to look at it is exclusive brand outlets where also you have a direct relationship with the customer so in the truest truest form d2c for us at least is a distribution channel mm-hmm. but uh, 
the the wave of d2c and uh, the ideology of d2c founders is a little bit more profound than that mm. right it is a more new age way of looking at it where you take the customer very seriously you get a lot of feedback from the customer right uh, and which has been the backbone for us also to sort of leverage all the d2c things or enablers as we call it and tools etc to engage with the customer in a more active manner correct across in terms of how we say what the brand stands for what products are working what is not working etc etc even feedbacks are very faster and you can improve on those uh, correct correct right so customer is important is is a is a thing that has been there for ages yeah. right that has never changed mm -hmm. right but the way you engage with the customer has turned around a lot and d2c is a is a state of mind i like to say of how d2c founders look at it to say how do we take customers so seriously and make them the center of the entire business and how do you leverage your own distribution channel to engage with them more actively so when did you decide uh, to go offline channels as well because you started as online but when did you decide you know now we have to go offline also uh, better brand building or how did you decide on that because a lot of founders now are thinking on that way also because yeah. you have reached the consumer through online channels but again you have to expand offline also yeah yeah so uh i i'll i'll add a bit and then disha you can add as well we actually didn't start online right we actually started offline to about exhibition yeah. right and it was a serious business matlab mm. humne one we did it for what about 14 months mm. uh we were bootstrapped uh we were profitable right uh and we were putting the same money back into going the business right so traditional nice proper way to do a business mm -hmm. right uh, and those those still hold right that's how we always look at the business in yeah. today right then we said ki to scale this up further is going to be super hard because from a certain scale hum bahut chote the yeah. right abhi bhi we believe we are small right we have is a long long way to go but hum bahut zyada chote the right and we felt ki this whole marathon of friday saturday sunday exhibition karo mm -hmm. monday ko pair ko rest do ट्यूजडे को रिकनसिलेशन करो वेडनेसडे को अगले एग्जीबिशन के लिए इन्वेंट्री प्रिपेयर करो फ्राइडे को यू नो थर्सडे को सब कुछ करो एंड देन फ्राइडे वी आर इन द नेक्स्ट स्टॉल वॉज सुपर सुपर हार्ड टू स्केल एंड दैट्स वेन वी एक्चुअली टुक द रूट ऑफ लिटरली शटिंग डाउन एग्जीबिशन कम्प्लीटली वन फाइन डे आई डोंट नो अगेन यू वुड हैव सीन कि हमारे स्टार्टअप जर्नी में वी नेवर सेट टैम सैम धट वेद राइट सेम थिंग यूर वेरी इरेशनल डिसीजन ऑफ सेंग ये यार ये नहीं करना है वो की करना है but but exhibitions band karenge hmm. and uh, online start karenge which year was this this was uh, what 2017 18 18 18, 18. 2018 hmm. right so overnight we said ki ab ye exhibitions wala nahi karna hai ab jo hai uh, hmm. hame kuch aur karna hai through online route right and we were we were not the online experts uh, we, we we were not coders to build our own website etc hmm. but as good fortune would have it we somebody told us about shopify oh. Yeah. and then over sort of two weekends uh yeah. you know the shine me sort of designed the website uh and then launched uh due to see right uh so offline first mm. online and now we are uh, embarking on the offline journey as well as another layer right where we are in about 50 retail touch points and we'll be expanding that more and more right including sort of having our own first store and all of that that will happen but uh, but ha yeah, this has been sort of our, our our ride through offline online and now offline as well got it understood and it's right offline would be through different like uh, multi brand outlets or your own outlets like what are you thinking about yeah so currently jo bhi hai is through multi brand outlets uh, now our first store is coming up oh, where oh, is it so uh, this will happen in navi mumbai in one of the malls there uh in the month of june is their launch and hopefully sindhant you'll also join us for that <laughs> sure 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 right so this is coming to you now uh, on the pricing of the products because again you said because you have to scale a, if you have to scale a brand mm. and india is a highly sensitive mm. price price sensitive market mm. if you have to scale a brand you have to make sure the product is aspirational enough mm. and at the same time pricing is mm. something reasonable which people mm. can afford mm. how did you come up whatever pricing you have come what what was the st uh, strategy behind that right so then i would call india as a value conscious market than a price sensitive market so hame hame sab chahiye right so hamara product at the right price is extremely important mm. so high so hamare liye to i think sabse uh, zyada important hota hai ki hamara hum kisi bhi scale mein ho hamari product ki quality same honi chahiye 
if we sell one bag we sell 10000 bags we sell 10 lakhs bag the quality of each bag has to be same so for us i think how we we look at for us the scale rate we look at how um, how we can maintain the same quality of products as and when we are scaling in the past 4 years like you know the first year maybe our same will be of course we keep, like you know uh, we also keep on improving our process so that we maintain the same uh, quality what we have done is this that um, we are very uh, rightly priced so agar aap hamare products dekhenge so be it in terms of competition with be it in terms of uh, value that we provide with it like for example hamara jo sabse bada best seller hai which is our office bag hmm. wo office bag mein wo dikhne mein bahut acha dikhta hai usme uh, laptop compartment hai usme aapka sara bag like aap kisi bhi customer se humse puchhenge to bolenge apna pura bag yeah. carry karke leke jati hu hmm. so for them like it's value for money most of our reviews also that we get is na hmm. to hamara na customer hi hame bata deta hai ki yaar this is the price i feel ke bahut value sahi hai kyunki india mein if it was just price sensitive right hmm. to tata nano would be the most selling yeah. right yeah. but it has to be value and right. it has to solve for all the customers problems hmm. right including जैसे नैनो में इफ कार इज ऑल्सो अ सोशल बैज देन दैट ऑल्सो हैज टू बी सॉल्व थ्रू प्राइसिंग नॉट एनी थिंग एल्स राइट सो आई थिंक हाँ तो आई थिंक द प्राइसिंग एंड द प्रोडक्ट we get it right via our customers hmm. about the aspiration so so the we stand for proudly Indian and हंड्रेड परसेंट जीगन एंड वी हैव सीन दैर आर कस्टमर ऑल्सो प्राउडली कैरी दैट सो अगर आप हमारे रिव्यूज देखेंगे आप हमारे कस्टमर से बात करेंगे तो देर बिल्कुल कि यार ये इंडिया इंस्पायर्ड है and also a fact that it's a vegan so the aspiration for the product also comes from the roots of the products and how we have positioned our products right. um so i think that's how we are solving for that uh, aspiration plus rice pr- right pricing plus right product yeah. and so but but we do believe strongly that pricing is make or break mm-hmm. yeah, right uh ki uh, you have to get your pricing right and uh, we've seen ki some correction in pricing can really change the trajectory of yeah. business right so uh, i think that is one advice when we meet uh, you know new age founders also we say ki be very open about your pricing hmm. right uh, pricing ko emotionally mat uh, correct right kyunki it can really change and either ways it can even be increase my hmm. result in ye decrease we've seen both happen right so i think pricing is is very very critical but it has to be connected to value and not just the lowest price right but having said that we are uh, we feel we are aptly priced and i think as we scale we'll learn more on on that got it got it also now now it's a brand uh, yeah. and brand takes time to build uh, but lot of investors will say ki how will you compete with this kind of brand or something like that well, how do you how are you making sure that building zook as a brand which last last more than what we live uh, mm-hmm. how how are you ensuring that so i think first and foremost is uh, you know uh, as you rightly said right brand is a long term no. play hmm. right and i think that is something we as a company and our wonderful team takes care of right ki jo bhi hai brand ko protect karna hai right that is most important so i think that is a dna thing right uh, i think it flows across the board across everybody right and brand is not just what goes on social media brand is also quality of product brand is also pricing brand as so many things right what products we'll do what we'll not do mm-hmm. how it looks and doesn't look etc right so i think all of that they can get when i think the way lasting brands are built with ha- maintaining the quality oh, of your yeah. products year on year on year right it doesn't yeah. matter aap kis scale pe ho mm. i think aapka high quality products are there na so your brand keeps on building mm. uh, i think we, we, we were just recently talking like ki tum mcdi ka fries amritsar mein loge ki delhi mein loge ki bombay mein loge same hi quality yeah. and that's why that brand is lasting yeah. and so i think for us ensuring the quality of our product remains at whatever scale that we are i think that's the most important bit mm. i think the second bit is given Uh, अभी क्योंकि हमारे कस्टमर्स ब्रांड के बारे में सो मेनी डिफरेंट चैनल्स से जानते हैं mm. एंड पहले तो क्या होता था कि सिर्फ एक टीवी से चला दिया एंड स्टफ राइट अब आप सोशल मीडिया से इंस्टाग्राम से फेसबुक से जब मैं आपसे बात करती हूँ पीपल विल गेट लाइक माय कस्टमर्स विल गेट टू नो अबाउट जूक फ्रॉम दिस इंट्रैक्शन एज वेल इट्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इन एवरी इंट्रैक्शन दैट वी डू टू आर कस्टमर एनी मैसेजेस दैट वी ब्रिंग आउट हैज टू बी ऑन ब्रांड so we are very 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 conscious ki are you know uh, we are a proudly indian brand and that will move across whatever we do mm-hmm. be it what we do in our office in on our product in our messaging in our campaign um 
we are vegan so we'll support every cause that is vegan and that is how our most of the lifestyle will also be of the brand so it's sticking co- true to the core message that we stand for year on year that persistence is i think that's one bills the brand and, and just to add to that right oh uh, i think if i bring an investor lens right investors also value that mm. yeah. kyunki two things happen right so uh coca cola as a brand is valued not just for the drink the thing it's also valued for its distribution no doubt mm. right but it's also valued for the brand itself yeah. right so as investors our investors truly understand that and mm. they also push us in that direction mm. Mm. Jo, like it is so interesting that uh, you know uh, one of our investors at all points every meeting asks us quality ka kya ho raha hai quality ka kya ho raha hai you know he, he'll say ki uh, you know uh, you know bipin will say maine khareeda pradeep by the way aapka product abhi bhi acha hai और ये से ये ना थोड़ा इम्प्रूव करना है राइट इफ इट कम्स फ्रॉम देयर एज वेल राइट सो वी आर वेरी ब्लेस्ड इन दैट सेंस एंड दे हैव सीन द वैल्यू ऑफ पावरफुल ब्रांड्स बिकॉज पावरफुल ब्रांड्स ब्रिंग देन अ लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स इट ओपन्स अप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इट रिड्यूसेस कैक राइट कस्टमर एक्विजिशन कॉस्ट गेट्स बेटर राइट सो आई थिंक वी आल्सो बीन नच्ड इन दैट डायरेक्शन एंड यू नो एज एज founders we are also learning right correct mm-hmm. we also made these mistakes of you know sort of saying chal thoda push kar lete hain our mm-hmm. performance but we have seen uh, you know in 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 the nicest and hope uh, you know luckily in the shortest span of time we have learned that right or uh, to say that no investing in brand has a lot of benefits mm-hmm. across even valuation top line bottom line all of that right yeah. so it's been learning for us which our investors have also sort of encouraged and because they have seen a lot of consumer brand journeys correct right so we've been sort of uh, been lucky in that sense correct correct of course it takes time you have to just ensure you maintain the balance like quality pricing everything it should be the balance yeah yeah okay so so the uh, uh, when you started uh, back in 2015 uh, 2015 how much money did you invest and what was the growth like uh, for you सो आई थिंक हमने तो ट्रांसिस में इन्वेस्ट करा है और आई थिंक जब हमने शुरू करा था तो सबसे पहले जो भी मैंने वो ये दस महीने में सेव करा था वो डाल के किया था आई थिंक फर्स्ट ट्रांसफर्स मुझ से सिक्स सेवन लैक्स टाइप्स फिर देन आई मूव टू बॉम्बे एंड देन आई रियलाइज हमने एग्जीबिशन वगैरह किया बट हमें इन्वेंट्री बनाने के लिए थोड़े पैसे थे तो मैंने प्रदीप से थोड़े पैसे मांगे तो ही गेव मी सम टेन लैक्स टाइप इन ट्रांसिस मैंने भी मैंने भी किश्तियों में दी थी रे <laughs> तो इन ट्रांसिस तो आई थिंक हमने हमारे पूरे यू you नो know, uh, हम दोनों के बीच में और हमारे फैमिली में मिला के आई थिंक टोटल 25 फाइव लैक्स खुद से इन्वेस्ट किया है अक्रॉस वेन वी स्टार्टेड इन 2017 थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एंड थिंक टिल वी स्टार्टेड एंड एंड हम उस टाइम पे वी वे जस्ट पुटिंग द मनी इन द बिजनेस दैन ग्रोइंग एंड ग्रोथ के लिए ही वी वेर पुटिंग सो आई थिंक ओवरऑल ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स वे पुट we have and a lot on. and a lot of blood sweat and tears 100% <laughs> uh, and i think wahan se uh, yahan tak we have more than 4 lakh plus happy customers wow. uh, and i think that is our biggest strength uh, ki um, from i i still remember ke uh, jab main akele karti thi and pradeep used to work so before leaving uh, from home he used to tell me ke dasha aaj se ek hi bag send karna hai it's a one bag a day so our our target used to be one bag a day but when we started our website yeah, yeah. so it's like ek bag sell karte hain fir dekhte hain kahan jaate hain right wo billion dollar banana hai but pehle the story starts from that one bag so from there to here we have come a long way and uh, you know with lot of blend sweat and lot of good will from our customers invested yeah, i think our customers have taught us so many things i mean i think uh, customers teach us each and every day uh ki what we are doing right kya hum galat kar rahe hain right and uh, um i think we have also transitioned from being a young company just hmm. ko log maaf kar sakte hain to now saying it's our responsibility to take the india story to the world hmm. right and now i think the entire team realizes that and that's where you know every day focus is hmm. to keep improving correct got it so now my basic question is uh, this is a tough funding environment where you have raised money right now people are matlab logo ko gyan zyada mil raha hai paisa nahi mil raha hai uh, and you have been able to raise money in this market also tell us how that went for you what are the challenges and what are the learnings uh, from this process as well yeah so i think uh, somewhere so post mba and somewhere in the middle the definition of business was very different from what we learned oh. and what we've always thought business should be to what was happening right uh one thing we did was we were surrounded by very strong mentors uh, investors etc in that journey 
who used to always stick to the fundamentals Correct. you know it has to be capital efficient jo jo bhi paisa hai you're reinvesting in growth etc right so i think that dna has always remained and that dna is what has helped us sort of is no i would say not just survive but thrive mm. in this environment and that's helping us even now mm. right and i think that is something which uh, you know our investors recognize right uh, they uh wo recognize hi nahi reiterate bhi karte hain ki ye dna ye karo mm. right ye aapki strength hai ye karo mm. right and i think that has really helped us mm. in this environment right um funding has also been like i said we've been supported by great uh, investors who back you know what we are building right uh, stellaris uh, for example who led this round where are existing investors and doubled down on oh. on their investment and then we had newer investors like sharp ventures jj family office founders of uh, sugar cosmetics vinita and kaushik who've been like massive mentors hum unke fans hain hamesha right abhi bhi jate hain to kitab nikalte hain fiction mein batao seekhna hai right right uh manoj uh, you know of atomberg right uh the leap from deutsche india etc so i think we've been blessed by sort of having their support in the journey but i think comes from the fact that there's a certain dna with which we want to build this business which is capital efficient and very strong focus on brand products distribution which really helps in true compounding of all of this sort of playing out right so i think the first thing i feel is agar aap capital efficient business ho hmm so don't go by a lot of the pr press etc right the background story is very different hmm. the background story is those who are raising actually have a very strong fundamental business yeah. so do that right and agar aap nahi ho to shift gears very fast right kyunki aaj nahi to kal nahi to parso you have to get there right hmm. uh, markets have also taught all the large players who have listed new age brands who have listed कि यही करना है राइट सो एंड इट्स अ डीएनए थिंग वी डोंट कर ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई एवरी फाउंडर इज वर्किंग सुपर सुपर हार्ड एवरी फाउंडिंग टीम इज वर्किंग हार्ड ये डीएनए है डीएनए को फिक्स करो राइट सो आई थिंक इफ दैट इज देयर कैपिटल विल कम राइट एंड आल्सो रेज द कैपिटल यू नीड यू डोंट नीड टू ओवर रेज एक्सेट्रा रेज द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल गेट द राइट पीपल हु यू फील विल हेल्प यू इन द बिजनेस बिकॉज़ इट्स अ इट्स आवर लाइफ्स वर्क राइट एंड वी हैव फोक्स फॉर बैकिंग अस हु आल्सो बिलीव इन दैट राइट सो आई थिंक those still remain right uh this can sound like gyan but this is truly what we, we we've been doing right to say ki dna of the business is this businesses are meant to be built this way mm-hmm. and that's what we do and then we have the right folks who are backing us for that got it understand yeah. so now i think last bit i would add is uh as founders we are the eternal optimists right and when i say founders i truly mean the founding team right yeah. aaj jo hamare uh all the members who are with us right uh, we, we are all part of the zook family group right mm-hmm. all of them have taken a chance with us right? yeah or mm-hmm. uh, uh, and and that's what we are grateful for for them right and all of us are eternal optimists correct to koi bhi kuch bol deta hai ki nahi ye nahi hoga uh, you know earlier conversations with investors we used to feel bad ki yaar aise kaise bol sakte hain right to singh wo kahi sahi to nahi bol rahe galat to nahi bol rahe right but we realized we truly just need one person to say yes yeah. right and that's the the yes is what we've got yeah. and they are the most powerful backers for us so uh, another thing i've seen is and and we all, we've gone through the same right mm-hmm. Ki, earlier koi bol deta hai no to hame bura lagta hai uh-huh. but now he say theek hai not them somebody else you yeah. know them somebody else koi na koi to hai yeah. and they'll be the right partners for us oh. because the funding is just the start of that journey yeah. right it's not the destination which the journey in fact mm-hmm. right so i think that's what we sort of truly mean that's at least been our take on fundraising mm-hmm. got it understood so now how you're thinking about the future of zook from here like next 2 3 years or something how you're thinking about it nisha so i think well i'll give a like the vision that we have for zook is we want to build the biggest modern indian lifestyle brand from india to the world so they say india is known for its masalas and yoga we want and halaki hamari itni acha culture and craft hai we are still known for it but there is no brand that signifies it across the world i think we want to be that and we have that ethos from a very beginning our product product speaks about that that is what we also speak about so i think ambition to you know largest lifestyle brand banana hai and uh, i think next 2 3 years maybe pradeep can talk about how we are looking at expanding yeah so i think across sort of the key pillars of any consumer brand which is products distribution hmm. brand hmm. t 
team right uh these are going to be our focus points to say how do we expand our collection right which we've been doing like mm. our, our new launches are doing fabulous right uh, uh across sort of statement office bags okay our backpacks so we are clutches okay these were places where we were not there right, right where we've come in right yeah. uh footwear okay right it was a completely new category that we you know sort of entering in with our same brand ethos mm. right uh so i think product is going to be expanding distribution like i said you know our first store is going to come mm. which is totally different from you know what we're doing on d2c side uh, learning the alag hai right yeah. matlab uh what used to be a banner is now ki kaun sa tile jayega kaun sa ye new thing right matlab main to sochta itna to humne hamare ghar ke liye nahi socha right uh jo hum iske liye soch rahe hain right so i think uh, so many so many learnings on just distribution uh and then on the brand side right i think uh, i've truly seen uh you know how our brand looks on social media change and customers are telling us that ki you know kuch to change hua hai things are improving mm. the good etc and you know uh, like i said we also went through a rebranding exercise somewhere in the middle of last year oh, right. right uh we were called zook earlier as well and we're called zook now but the brand logo and uh, uh, the you know look and feel has change. completely transformed so uh nobody used to tell us this but uh, the earlier version was something you know they had me had drawn and uh people they were like kitna poor it's a nice to us to say ki kya bana hai nahi bole wo log right but we had some good partners who sort of helped mm-hmm. us through that journey mm-hmm. to come up with something nicer right mm-hmm. uh, much better something mm-hmm. which we now feel ki our customers deserve right yeah. and, yeah. and i think we've gone through that that journey now and now we're going to double down on all of this right and the core element is still going to be the team right yeah. i think the uh i think um, we have some very young energetic folks who mm-hmm. want to build something large in their lives right mm-hmm. who you know uh take true ownership of things right and they have taken it to the next level mm. in each of their buckets right mm. be it uh you know how the brand looks on social media be it with whom we work on influencer side or the product side or what we take out to our customers quality you know customer experience uh etc so i think those are going to be the key pillars uh in which uh you know our role is to guide them and then they are the experts who come and sort of uh, really do that and all of that will right. individuals and h- how do you keep your team motivated because ultimately they are the ones doing all the things around uh, how do you make sure that the the uh, your team is motivated to build i totally flip it it's the team that motivates yes yeah. oh right i think we are they are pushing the envelope huh. right of saying ki aaj hum ye kare kal kya kar rahe hain parso kya kar rahe hain mm-hmm. right uh i think uh, they are the ones who are pushing us to do more and more like mm-hmm. they are showing us ki zook ye kya ye ye kyun nahi kar sakta wo kyun kar sakta right mm-hmm. uh so for example today uh any product that is uh, you know approved from a quality perspective is not decided by the shine me is decided by a qc lead right he is he cares more about the product than us right uh any photo shoot that happens they care more about the quality of the output than us right and it it shows in each and every mm. sort of aspect of it so uh motivation how many motivate can <laughs> i think they sort of yeah. uh, Motivated. and i think one more thing is this that when they th- then they themselves also see as you said that right, you spotted zoo bag in your office yeah. and some a lot of other places i think when they also see their work outside and Correct. people proudly carrying it they also associate themselves with a feeling ki acha i am what wo- i am building this building it right? either it's in the form of the product either it's form of how the imagery is going out whom we are associating with pratip is saying that kya qc mein ja raha hai kaun product bana raha hai kaun ad dikha raha hai uh-huh. and but then they feel associated with that feeling ki acha my work is out there yeah, yeah. i think wo ek i think it itself is bahut bada motivation hota hai yeah, i think uh, like if you look at our whatsapp group which is the zook family whatsapp group uh the number one message is happy birthday <laughs> we wait nahi kar sakta we don't have good mornings over there right we have happy birthday the number 2 is zook spotted yeah like, okay ki wo koi reel dekh rahe the instagram mein they spotted they spotted it, mm-hmm. right they shared it like very recently one of our most best selling bags uh is on a netflix show right okay. organic we don't oh, we don't even know about it right this is the first time it's organic and team spotted it uh-huh. previous times in the movie sherni we appeared little things 3 we appeared मेरी बेटी काम करती है those are matlab uska kya aap mool rakhoge right so that it's truly the team that 
uh, you know, motivates hmm. us to do more and more yeah. and more, right? Yeah. And like I said, we are still a very short brand. There's a long, long way oh, to go for us. Huh. Yeah, yeah. So now we are moving to lightning round. Where I, I have not. Uh, uh, so I'll ask you questions. You just whatever comes to your mind, you have to say. Sure. Do we get a coffee hamper at the end of? Yeah, the definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing you would like to change about the other person. Who's one? Who wants to go first? What I like to change about Pradeep, I don't have to multiple times tell him in the morning that let's go for a walk, let's go for a walk. If he one day gets up and himself says let's go for a walk, that I would change. <laughs> yeah, if he can stop pushing me to do exercise every day, that would be great, right? <laughs> so, uh, uh, how do you reach a decision in case of any disagreements? Ah, uh, simple. We uh, so this is something we learned from all the folks we spoke mm-hmm. about, couple yeah. founders, etc. We have clear veto. Right, so there are certain departments that I take care of Correct. where I own the veto. There are certain things that she mm-hmm. takes care of where she has the veto. So it's a very clear veto. At the end of the day, if it's a supply chain thing, then it's on me. Yeah. If it's a brand thing, it's on me. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, you have divided this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. So no disagreements. Yeah. Huh? So no disagreements. Yeah. No. 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 Uh, disagree. Uh, disagree. No. Uh, disagree. But yeah. But disagree. disagree. But commit. Correct. Sort of how we yeah. look at it, and it's a veto. ultimately both want best for the company. Correct. You'll Correct. do that. Mm-hmm. Correct. So, what's the best or worst advice uh, you've received from someone? Both days you can say. I think the best advice what we have received from somebody uh, would be ask for help. Yeah, ask for help. बहुत बेशरम हैं हम इसमें रे हम बहुत हम रे हमें नहीं पता आप प्लीज बता दो क्या कर रहे हो हम सबसे बात करते हैं हम सबसे पूछते हैं सी दिस व्हाट वी पिक इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट वी आस्क एंड टॉक टू एवरीबॉडी यस आस्क फॉर हेल्प आई थिंक इज समथिंग आई थिंक द बेस्ट एडवाइस द वर्स्ट वुड बी व्हेन डू यू वांट टू टेक अ बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट एबल टू गेट आई रिमेंबर इन इन सॉर्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट 6 मंथ्स ऑफ आवर बिजनेस For six, I think it was twelve to eighteen months of our business. Uh, AI and ML was a happening thing, and somebody <laughs> said, "Ab aapke data mein AI kyun nahi use karte ho? Ab kar sakte ho?" And uh, you know, I said, "Ki ye data set chota hai." I said, "Nahi nahi, ab bada hai, kar sakte ho AI mein." Thank you. <laughs> but that's that. that uh, I'm yeah. not saying it's bad. Yeah, it's not. Current, no, 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 I think no. taking advice and understanding what scale. That yeah. is important. Yeah, that is very important. But thanks to them, we'll now remember it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So after a long day at work, who's the chef? Who's the chef? I am the chef. Perpetually. Fadi, Fadi. I, 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 uh, I hardly cook. And once I made rice. No, 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 no. Uh, Fadi didn't make rice. I just you got a burnt garlic rice, right? Yeah. If you remove the garlic, that's what I made. <laughs> so I told him that he once kya rice bana do, right? And what you did was rice chada do. I said, right? So he took literally rice chada diya. So he put rice in the cooker and he put it in the chada. That's all. Yeah. And then when the jalne ki smell came, I asked him what happened. He like, I put rice chada diya. We opened it and there was only rice. There was no water. No water. <laughs> no water. Yes. Food innovation jo hota hai na, wo Pradeep se aata hai. Yeah. Yeah. Wo dhaniya jo rakte hai na chef, wo khane ke baad wo Pradeep rakta hai. Got it. I paint in broad strokes. <laughs> So a- any any personality you look up to? I think for me, to Handa sir, so Professor Handa sir is my closest mentor. He's like my father. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think he he is is that one person I look up to for almost everything, be it professional or personal. Yeah, same here. He's our mentor, so I think he guides us a lot on sort of how to think of business, how to think of life. So yeah, we we have deep respect for what 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 he teaches on a day to day basis. And last question: uh, What is success for you? Which I ask to every guest of mine. I think for me, it's uh, building my legacy. That I am like, if not me, what I have built and remembered for generations together. I think that's success for me. Yeah, I think legacy and uh, if if uh, we can bring social happiness, hmm. right, to every stakeholder with whom we work, where customers are there, artisans, you know, employees. All of them, happiness them is is truly mm-hmm. a success. Okay, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on the show and allowing us to shoot on your beautiful location. Uh, all the best to you, and you have a long way to grow. But all the best. Thank, thank you so you much. So thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.